Welcome back to Excel Dictionary's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you Excel's top 10 keyboard shortcuts to increase productivity. Before we get started, if you want to learn how to use Excel without the mouse, check out my Excel shortcuts and productivity tips course linked below to learn all of Excel's keyboard shortcuts and time-saving productivity tips. Now let's get started. First up is one of my all-time favorite shortcuts, Alt Equals. Alt Equals makes the tedious task of summing data in Excel easier than ever by detecting surrounding data and summing it. For example, here we have quarter one sales data and want to add totals to the last row and column of the data table. Instead of typing the sum function and selecting each row and column of the data, we can select the cell we want to add the total to and press Alt Equals to automatically sum the data. It gets even better. Instead of clicking each cell and pressing Alt equals, we can select the entire table and press Alt equals to sum all of the rows and columns at once. Next up is the magical Control E shortcut. Control E allows us to manipulate data in a flash by activating flash fill on the data tab. For example, here we have full names and need to separate them into first, middle, and last names. Instead of using built-in Excel tools or functions to split these names, we just need to enter the first row of how we want the data to appear, navigate to the next row, and press Ctrl E to automatically fill the pattern down the column. Now we can repeat this for the middle and last name columns by navigating to the cell below each name and pressing Ctrl E to fill the column. Next, we have the Viral Alt HOI shortcut. Alt HOI allows us to clean up data in seconds by activating the Auto Fit tool on the Home tab. For example, here we have messy sales data our coworker sent us, and now we have to clean it before summarizing. Instead of manually adjusting each column's width in the header like this, select all of the data and press Alt HOI to automatically adjust each column's width to fit the size of the data. Next on the list, we have Alt F1. Alt F1 allows us to visualize our data without touching our mouse by inserting a bar chart directly into our worksheet. For example, here we have 2022 sales data by representative, and our boss asks us to create a chart to visualize the results. Instead of manually creating the chart using the chart section on the insert tab, we can select the data and press Alt F1 to automatically visualize our data with a bar chart. Next up, we have the detective shortcut, Control Open Bracket. Control Open Bracket allows us to quickly track down where values are coming from by selecting internal or external cell references. For example, here we have monthly sales and want to double check January sales by checking to see where the value is coming from and how it was calculated. Instead of tracing the file path, opening the file, navigating to the worksheet, and mapping out the cell, we can just select January sales and press Control open bracket to automatically open the cell reference. Shortcut number six is Control tilde. Control tilde allows us to quickly audit formulas by toggling between displaying cell formulas and values. For example, here we have 2022 and 2023 sales data and want to quickly audit the formulas in the worksheet to make sure that they're correct. Instead of clicking on each cell and reviewing the formula in the formula bar, we can press Ctrl tilde to display all of the formulas in the worksheet. Once we are done reviewing the formulas, we can press Ctrl tilde again to switch back to displaying cell values. Next, we have the hidden gem shortcut, Ctrl enter Control enter calculates multiple values in the time it takes to calculate one by filling the active cell's contents into selected cells. Here we calculated each plan's claims by year and need to fill this formula throughout the rest of the table to calculate the remaining values. Instead of dragging the formula down the column and across the rows like this, and then fixing all the formatting, we can use the control enter shortcut. To use control enter, first select all of the cells you need to calculate, write the formula, and instead of hitting enter, hit control enter to fill the formula in all of the selected cells. Next up, we have the underdog shortcut, control T. Control T converts data into an Excel table. Tables are an overlooked powerful tool that have a ton of benefits. For example, to convert this data to a table, select any cell within the data, press control T to open the table dialog box, and then press enter to convert the data into an Excel table. Now our data is formatted nicely, we can quickly add totals to the bottom, and much more thanks to Control-T. Shortcut number nine is Control-Shift-L. 
Control Shift L makes analyzing large data sets easier than ever by automatically adding sort and filter toggles to the top row of the data. For example, here we have ticket data and want to filter the data on high priority to focus on those requests. We can quickly filter the data by selecting any cell in the table, pressing Control Shift L to automatically add the sort and filter toggles, and then filtering the data by high priority. The best part about this is that we can also use Control Shift L to remove the filters. So if we want to remove the high priority filter, we can just press Control Shift L again to revert back to the original dataset. Last but not least, Alt WVG. Alt WVG toggles between adding and removing worksheet grid lines. So if you are team no grid lines in the ongoing grid lines versus no grid lines Excel debate, just press Alt WVG to automatically remove worksheet grid lines. If you are team no grid lines, don't worry, you can easily add the grid lines back by pressing Alt WVG again. Using Excel keyboard shortcuts are the number one way to take your productivity to the next level. If you like this video and want to keep learning all of Excel shortcuts, check out my full Excel shortcuts and productivity tips course linked below to officially retire your mouse. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more and I'll see you next time.